Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. All of us have heard the term about robots and robotics. Well, today's topic based on artificial intelligence is fully based on robotics. So let us have a look on what is robotics. This is Ranjiraj and you are streaming on the Steady Beast. So uh, first of all, uh, robotics is derived from the term robots. Now robots I have as uh, early mentioned in my previous uh, videos on AI. These are types of simple intelligent agents which learns upon various situations present on the environment and produce particular actions means they are rational agents so robots basically are type of rational agents which act upon certain circumstances and produce a defined amount of actions to produce certain results and to accomplish certain tasks now robotics is a domain in artificial intelligence so inside the umbrella of artificial intelligence comes robotics like similarly you have machine learning deep learning cognitive intelligence, artificial neural networks, then convolutional neural networks and many. So robotics is such a subdomain of AI which deals with the study of creating and efficiently uh, managing these robots. So these are basically governed by three basic uh, engineering principles or constructions. So first we have electronics engineering in this. So in creation of robotics you basically have electronics engineering and then you have mechanical engineering and then coupled all of this with the computer engineering now electronics engineering is mainly used for designing of these circuits which are there inside the robots and to identify that which particular sensors and effectors needs to be used and which should be compatible with the mechanical component and mechanical engineering is used for the uh, arms the pistons the suction pumps and all kind of stuffs uh, which are required by hard coded uh, mechanical engineers and so that is required for constructing physical construction of the robots and finally for computer engineering it finds its applications in which particular area the robot should be used so robotics are mainly used for uh, n number of fields like as uh, it's used in uh, industries it is used in uh, factories it is used in medical applications it is used in defense it is used for learning purposes and so uh, many types of uh, robots are there in many many different fields so all of this depends upon the application of what robot you are going to prepare or what uh, what robot are you going to configure so all of this depends upon the configuration of that particular robot which you are going to build now uh, these robots are aimed at doing the task so basically uh, we make these robots for doing all those tasks and activities which are done by us repetitively on our day-to-day -day basis and at one particular point of time we may get exhausted but we are making robot to do it without getting exhausted so they are aimed at doing the task and activities which are repetitive by human beings by simply automating them without getting exhausted so these robots if a particular uh, time is given or a time period is given it will loop into that particular number of times and thus it will not exhaust uh, which depends upon its battery backup and all those power supplies which comes in the secondary picture so basically robots are uh, used to automate the tasks which are done by human beings in the day-to-day -day basis or the day-to-day -day manner now uh, these robots operate in the physical environment as uh, compared to the lab environment so in lab environments uh, always the kind of uh, what experimental purposes or activities are done but uh, this robots are basically they uh, give their role into the physical world and all the inputs to these robots are either analog signal in the form of wavelets or waveforms or simply images means they take images from the real world surrounding and then they produce the actions depends upon the algorithm which they have stored in their circuits or boards and they require special hardware with sensors and effectors to carry out that particular action so this we have uh, discovered in the agent environment so all these you can relate with the agents part in the agent environment so this is a quick introduction regarding what is robotics and artificial intelligence now let us uh, move to this section that is this is a simple basic construction of a robotic arm not a robotic arm uh, one particular this portion of your hand means you have the human hand at this side and you will construct a robotic hand with the help of this human hand now let us understand what all things are required in construction or how you can replicate uh, this activities or the actions which is done by your human hand with this robotic hand so first of all we'll construct this 
uh, with the replica of uh, this real hand, human hand. So first of all, in the human hand, you have a kind of mesh wrap structure. So these are kind of uh, mechanical or like a small, small sensors or you can, uh, in fact, uh, skip me uh, mesh wrap structure or uh, simply you can put some electrical gloves which have certain kind of perceptions and sensations. So you can uh, put that gloves up till your hand, up till uh, this palm and at the uh, this side that is at the this portion you can wrap your hand with some kind of uh, material uh, which will have some uh, effect to the external pressure sensors and the uh, temperature conditions. So and these are attached to some motors. So these motors are basically used for this Arduino boards. So this Arduino boards are uh, used for this computational logics for this robotic arm. So this board will basically consist of all the algorithms, the code and the programming logic like how the human hand should work which should be replicated in the robotic arm. So all your complex codes goes into this circuit. So this is the Arduino board and so uh, we have this uh, electrical gloves or the electronic gloves or you can have the gaming gloves in fact and you have some kind of uh, layers surrounded on this region and now when we uh, go to the robotic hand means the actual construction starts so uh, in our hands we have these many uh, so we have five different fingers and we have these joints so here there is one joint followed by this joint then you have this joint and this joint this this and this this and this this so we have five different fingers and for five different fingers you have 10 different joints at this portions so uh, similarly i have uh, considered some sensors at these places to sense like how the human hand works and it should replicate by the robotic hand and now at this place i have placed a junction box which will route each of these electrical signals or the impulses to each of these fingers which is maintained by this junction box and some kind of logic is there in routing this to uh, individual uh, fingers or to individual uh, this you can say as ball and socket joints here and this is uh, purely based on uh, mechanical constructions some kind of uh, mechanical ball and socket is there which is uh, used to move this part of the robot as well and talking about this part uh, this is the this structure and this structure you should have uh, access to all the sensors which are present outside so time being uh, it should sense to temperature and what is the tem outside temperature whether it is humid whether it is cold uh, whether it is hot and whether it is wet dry all this kind of things and it should have proximity sensors then it has contact sensors then acceleration sensors uh, yeah and uh, many more sensors are there but uh, for the time being i have considered only uh, these many and uh, you have this motors placed outside now this motors are actually used for performing the activities so for motors you have uno motors and servo motors these two motors are used for arduino boards so uh, if a different kind of board uh, goes on you have different kind of motors used so these are the basic two uh, motors which are used for creating of the robotic arm you can have uh, many n number of uh, motors for constructing this and like uh, if you do the dissection of your human hand you can find n number of blood vessels capillary tubes and many kind of things veins and all so all those kind of uh, like wired structures are replaced by physical wire or you can place an optical fiber cable used for transmitting uh, like high amount of data at a very high speed at a very small response time so uh, these wires are replaced by this uh, human nerves and wires and the inside of the structure we have our bones so these bones are replaced by metal rods which have in contact with all other parts of these fingers so whenever like uh, any uh, contactual rod like a copper rod any, any other rod which would not corrode so easily so those kinds of rods are placed uh, inside this for constructing and on top of that we have some uh, kind of layer uh, we have this derma layer dermitis so instead of that we can place any other layer which is used for sensing and uh, considering or uh, taking all those things apart we have this 
kind of things called as prosthetics so prosthetics are mainly used for like uh, if a person loses his hand then an artificial arm is kept or if a person loses his leg an artificial leg is kept so that all comes in prosthetics so you can use a prosthetic arm and on prosthetic arm you can implement or build all these functions and motors and gears and put it into action so all these are uh, connected to this arduino boards so this is the output which you are getting so this does not produce any kind of inputs all inputs are given from this human hand and from here all the processing takes place logical routings and loopings and all takes place and these are routed to this robotic arm so this works in this manner so if like uh, these have mesh wraps or uh, this have electrical or uh, some gaming gloves you have so it is configured in such a way that all the actions which you do are replicated by the robotic hand so if you do this the distance from this place this place is calculated and that is mapped internally by a register by this arduino board similarly this distance is completely different so this difference is completed and this is calculated and it is stored in the register so all these fingers have different distances which have uh, from their respective position to this position at the palm level now i am not going outside the palm i am there inside the palm so all these possible actions are calculated by these registers internally so this uh, you need to incorporate into your uh, arduino boards for configuration and then after that uh, when you map all these particular actions now this is one action second action third action fourth action fifth action so five different fingers so five different actions so when you do in this manner it has to replicate in this manner so for that you need to have acceleration sensors so acceleration sensors will uh, depend or it will calculate the distance and velocity of each of these fingers and from their respective positions and by rotating the human hand so at which uh, velocity or at which speed it is moving it has to replicate exactly in the robotic arm so that speed is completely depend upon the board which you are using so if you have a higher end of board you can configure it very high so as soon as you make any changes to your hand it will be captured by the robotic agent internally and it will be stored internally in the register so uh, then you have so i've talked about the external part and then i talked about the internal part but uh, when it comes to your human hand we have got a grip so this grip we have to implement in robotic hand so for that we have a softex grip or a rubber grip you can place so uh, this layer uh, you can have prosthetics and this layer you can have uh, rubberized or something kind of that softex layer or something like that uh, which should be of rubber means for example i have this smartphone so if i'm holding this smartphone then robot should also take uh, also pick up this smartphone and it should hold in this manner now i have uh, hold this smartphone in this way now uh, it will calculate like it's not going outside my position of this palm and it's completely in this region so it will map that this thumb finger is placed inside this position this is at this position this finger is at this position and this is at this position so all these uh, positions are calculated by this robotic arm and if suppose for example i remove this phone uh, then this is my hand configuration and this should be replicated by your robotic hand so this is the final position where my phone will be held so when i put back my phone at this position it will be at this place so uh, some uh, it is uh, now this is one case of scenario now uh, some may hold the phone in this way so in this case your index finger goes up so this is another pattern so all these kind of possible actions uh, should be made by the robot now uh, it it, uh, it should have different kind of registers for storing this now we have got our uh, like grip natural grip so this we have to incorporate in the robot so for that this part of our hand would be replaced by a softex or a rubberized uh, like kind of gloves or some kind of patterns will be there so which would have grip over this object so that it will held it firmly now uh, now for example when we talk at some place so it has some uh, will hold it in a very light manner but 
uh, when we are at some other place or when we are in a like function or in a meeting we hold it uh, light in a we, we apply a little amount of pressure so that pressure it has to calculate and those pressures must be applied while holding this phone and those pressures are also calculated by this box so complete uh, construction of robotic hand depends upon how you mimic your hand to that particular object means it will first identify that this is an object and this is its robotic arm so this is its configuration and this configuration is it has to replicate in its robotic arm so all these things are possible with the help of prosthetics and simple kind of uh, logic and programming kind of stuff so the code which you can use in this is like you can use r programming or python programming so that is uh, most advisable for doing uh, programs in ais and constructing this kind of things so r programming and python programming are mainly done in this and algorithms uh, all those uh, algorithms which i have mentioned in my uh, previous videos apart from that many other algorithms are there uh, which depends upon the configuration for what kind of robotic arm you are going to use it so well this is all about the introduction to robotics so hope you enjoyed this video from this video helpful please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching this video